In the 1500 year old rule of St. Benedict, we find that the very notion of synodality, without ever using that word, is already there. In chapter three of the rule of St. Benedict, he talks about bringing all of the members of the community together so as to be able to have input from everyone when making a major decision. One of the things that he emphasizes is that the whole community is to be brought together, everyone. And he even emphasizes there that the youngest members of the community are also to be heard. And there he quotes the scriptures talking about the young prophet Samuel and the wisdom that he was able to bring to the discussion and the decision. In the midst of all of that, it was in the mind of St. Benedict to be able to hear what everyone had to be able to say. And in that then, the abbot would be called upon to make the final decision. Having heard everyone, gathered all of the wisdom of everyone, and seeing what was to be the way forward for the community to go. We find also within the rule of St. Benedict the fact that what he is always striving for is for a community to be at peace. And he mentions two other times in the rule a Latin expression, omnia membra in pace. This is that all the members of the community may be at peace. 25 years ago, when I was first elected abbot of my community in Conception Abbey in the United States, I chose that as my motto, omnia membra in pace, that all may be at peace. I think that we see here in St. Benedict a wonderful model that we are able to bring to this forthcoming synod, which emphasizes the importance of hearing each one so that the church may see the best way for it to move forward.